Jenny and I am One Girl and Her Machines. So a couple of days ago I did a little catch up video and I promised you that I would do a what have I been making video and I've actually made quite a lot even though I've been busy with school uh, the YouTube definitely took a back seat but the sewing had to carry on as I say for my sanity so I have made quite a lot of stuff in the last few months. Um, one of the things that I've made is what I'm wearing today. It's definitely a wearable twirl. It's not um, the perfect thing. As you can see, I've got a few gaping issues there. Um, and actually the straps are a bit too wide for me. But this is a hack on the Tilly um, and the Buttons Indigo dress. I am all for the comfort at the moment. I cannot cope with, I've, I've definitely hit the whole perimenopause stage. And I have definitely hit the point where I cannot cope with having things tight and restrictive around my waist. Um, I do suffer from endometriosis. I am waiting for a hysterectomy, so that probably isn't helping the situation. But I um, do, I, can't, I just can't cope with it. I really can't cope with having anything tight. Um, and I am all for the loose, flowy dresses and the, the non-restrictive, non-tight around my waist items at the moment um and yeah and viscos i've fallen in love with viscos hadn't used viscos much before this year and now pretty much everything that i make is out of viscos a few crepe machines but yeah mainly viscos because it's just so soft and i love it so yeah so um i thought i would just take you through what i've been making and what i've been doing and um, hopefully I might actually be able to show you what I want to do next time on what I want to do going forward because I have lots of plans in my head where I am now on holiday. I can make lots of things. My wardrobe has been gone through this morning and I've chucked out a whole load of stuff that I'm not comfortable wearing anymore. So there probably are some gaps that I can fill. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. So it's all good. So as I say, Tilly the Buttons Indigo dress. I have hacked it quite a bit. Obviously, I've taken off the sleeves. Um, I do need to take the straps in a little bit, but I've also added a couple of darts. Obviously, I'm quite busty. Um, and the problem with having a dress like this is when it, it sits there, it goes flat down and it makes you look even bigger than you already are. So I've put in a couple of little darts just to bring it in a smidge. It's not it's still not like in tight, but it does at least go backwards a bit. Um, and then, sorry, the dog's jumping up. And then I do sort of like have, Frankie, thank you, stop, sit, sit. Yeah, and it does go in just a bit at my waist. <laughs> Apologies, the dog decided that now was the time she wanted to jump up and say hello to me. So she has been locked out of the room and I can carry on. So as I was saying, I think, probably got a bit lost, was that I have tapered this in a bit. I've taken it in a bit of the waist, um, just at the side seams a little bit. I probably could go in a little bit more, but I don't really want to go much tighter than this. And I've put in a couple of bus starts as well, just to give the effect that it goes in a bit rather than it just going down as one long thing and then coming out even more at the waist, which makes you look even, or makes me feel like I look even bigger, which is, you know, I'm not small anymore. I can't profess to be small anymore, but I am, you know, struggling with different things. So I am just wearing comfort and um, I'm trying to make the best of it where I can. So, yeah, this is the first one that I've got to show you. You would have seen it in the um, in the little introduction that I've done. Um, that's what I'm wearing today. Um, it is in a fabric from Pound Fabrics, I think. I don't think it was Pound Leisure. I think it's Pound Fabrics. Um, a super soft viscose. Very, very cost effective. Um, I, as I say, I'm a student. I can't afford to spend a fortune on fabric. Um, some of the fabrics out there look beautiful, the Atelier brunettes, that sort of stuff, but I just can't afford them right now. So I am dealing with, you know, the cheaper end of the fabrics. But actually, do you know what? These are super soft, super comfortable, and they allow me to do the sewing that I want to do at the moment, because obviously without having a wage, a proper wage coming in, I can't sit there and just spend a fortune on fabrics much as I might like to. So the next item that I need to um, show you that I've made is the Stitch Sisters um, dungarees. Um, I have never, once I've never felt comfortable wearing dungarees but I've never felt that they suited me but as I say, I need things that are loose around my waist so I thought come on you gotta give it another go Jen, so I did. Um, and actually they are ridiculously comfortable. 
Um, I've made them, again, it's a wearable twirl. There is plans to make another pair in denim. I bought some denim yesterday from Fabricland and I want to make some in denim. Um, and yeah, I made them in a, in a light blue cotton. Um, I will insert a picture to the side and you can see what I've made. Um, I won't, I won't do the, the tie on the shoulder again. I, I don't know why I did it. I know I don't like ties on the shoulder. I know that I, um, they annoy me and I don't like being annoyed by anything that I wear. I'm a very fussy clothes wearer, I think would be the way to put it. So if something's uncomfortable, I won't pull it out of the wardrobe at all. I will not, you know, wear things for um, for, for effects. It will totally be for comfort. Um, so yeah, so I made these. They are lovely and I do like them. I am going to remedy the situation by putting two pieces of elastic in the, um, the strap hole. Um, and then so they can go on and they can stretch out over my shoulder, but then actually they'll stay in place as well. So they won't, you won't see the elastic, but it will actually, it'll actually be there holding on to it. So it'd be nice and comfortable and relaxed. Um, and it'll give me the shoulder straps that I wanted because I don't, I didn't really want to have ones that tie and again, that flapping around because it will annoy me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put some elastic in there to remedy that to keep myself comfortable this summer. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I did have to tweak the pattern a bit. I am a very vertically challenged person. I'm five foot one, if I'm lucky. Um, so the pattern was quite large over my hips and my thighs. So I took in quite a lot of, um, a lot of room down there because they were looking like clown pants and, um, yeah not looking very flattering so i've taken those in and actually now they sit better they feel better so that's that's good so now i've got a pattern i can work from and i can make some more um i probably will put a few more of the details on the the denim ones you know like have a nice pocket with some nice contrasting thread it, thread on there and all of that sort of loveliness that you get with jeans so that they don't look quite so homemade um but but yeah, I'm looking forward to making those again. Um, and say I bought those, I bought the denim yesterday, so I will probably be making them soon because we go on holiday soon and I would like to take them all with me. So the next item that I have made is the Paddington blouse from Peppermint Magazine. I love the look of this, this blouse. It was, it's so pretty. Um, obviously the fact it's a free pattern, again, I can't afford to go out and spend a fortune on patterns, so I'm having to be a little bit more sensible about it. So the fact it was a free pattern, it was bang on trend, um, and I've seen so many beautiful ones out there, I thought I've got to give this a go. And I have got pictures to put up there, but also I thought I'd show you the blouse. So I've made this, and I love this fabric. Again, this is a, a fabric land special. Um, I don't know, three, 399 a metre, something like that, ridiculously ridiculously cheap but um so nice i love the fabric i love the pattern the only thing that i don't love about this blouse and it goes back to what i said before is i don't like to be uncomfortable and i find that the having the button band and the buttons at the back weighs it down and pulls it up high on my neck and i just don't like it i'm gonna have to probably try and tweak this if not for this blouse then when i make another one because i will make another one i'm almost certain i'll make another one um but yeah, I don't like, I don't like things pulling down at the back. So I will either just put in like, just close it up and just have it as a top with a nice puff sleeve or, and put buttons down the back maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, probably just, I would think probably just close up the back and put the buttons, maybe not put the buttons on, something like that, we'll see. But I don't, I just don't want it to weigh me down at the back. Um, Funny enough, I haven't tried it the wrong way around. I might try it one the wrong way around and see if that works because I um, I do, I love this blouse. I love the fabric. I love the colours on it. I've just bought a really nice um, royal blue uh, viscose to make some trousers, which would be beautiful with this, I think, which would go really nicely. I think it'd go really nice. So yeah, so I just want to, um, I want to keep the fabric. I want to keep this top. So I might try it on back to front. See what that goes. But yeah, um, it's a lovely top. It is, sorry, it is lovely. It's, um, I'm very proud of it. 
I do like it. You know, the buttons on the back go so nicely. They're bright yellow, lovely. But it just, it's just uncomfortable to me. Um, and it pulls at the back and, and it's frustrating because I love it. I really love the fabric and I really, so I'm going to have to try and work some way of wearing it. And say, maybe even just turn it around. I'm going to try that later, actually, you see. Because if it's comfortable the other way around, then I'll crack on and do it that way. Because um, there's no, there's no real shaping at the front. Um, so, yeah, you never know. I might get away with it. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, I love this blouse. Um, I will, I will see what I can do with it. Yeah. Um, so this is the Peppermint Magazine Paddington Top. Beautiful top. Beautiful fabric. Um, I believe it's still in fabric land. I was there yesterday and I believe it's still there. So I will link it below because it is lovely. Beautiful crepe machine. Um, and yeah, so that's the top. So the next one or next um, item that I made was the olive blouse um, by, is it simply so? It's simple so. Um, it was a free um, pattern in the magazine. Um, and it reminded me a bit of the the blouse by the avid seamstress um again i just can't afford to buy all these patterns that i really like the look of so i had to deal with what i had and and that was what it you know what i've got so um i quite like it it's not bad blouse um i can't remember actually if there was anything particularly that i had problems with making it up but i don't think there was um i'd watched a video of someone making it um it was It'll come back to me. It will come back to me, blonde lady. Um, and um, yeah, she she made it up. And I've used this gorgeous because it's very unusual for me. This because it's leopard print. I don't normally do leopard print, but this absolutely gorgeous um, pale pink leopard print, pink and grey leopard print um, viscose fabric. This was this was slightly more expensive. This was from the village haberdashery down in Fareham, and um, this fabric was bought with my birthday money basically so my parents and everyone give me birthday money and I went and bought some fabric um and this was one of the fabrics I bought and I love it I haven't actually worn the top much and probably because I don't have a lot of cause to wear blouses or tops I did I did wear it to school um the one time I've worn it I think um I wore it to school um, and then for whatever reason, it was either hot or whatever, I didn't really get a chance to wear it again. But it will be a good staple in my wardrobe for when I do go into school again. Um, it's, you know, it's a lovely top. There's nothing about fitting from what I remember that's uncomfortable. Um, it goes well with, with grey, it goes well with black. So I've got both of those pairs of trousers in my wardrobe that I can wear it with. Um, and yeah, quite like it. There's nothing particularly that I can say about it. The only thing I don't like is that fact that I have to give it a good iron and I don't like ironing at the best of times, but you know, I can get over that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so that is the Olive Blouse by Simple Sew from the magazine, one of the magazines. Um, and yeah, in a really beautiful viscose fabric from the Village Haberdashery. I'm not entirely sure that they've got any left. It was, well, my birthday's in February, so it was a good sort of five months ago. And I haven't, I think I had actually probably the end of the roll. Um, so I'll have a look online. If it is, then I will um, put a link in below. Um, but yeah, so yeah, really like this top. Very pretty. So the next item that I have made is this new look um, jumpsuit. Sorry, I'll hold it a bit closer. New look jumpsuit. Um, and this is actually one of my favourite recent makes. It was um, made for confidence, I suppose would be the way to put it. I had um, a final assessment meeting at school and I wanted something new to wear so that I would feel really good about myself, something that was comfortable, again, always comfortable, um, but that would look smart. And so I made this, I made the, the long jumpsuit with the short sleeves um, and in a beautiful viscose fabric, again, from the Village Haberdashery. So this is a pattern K6413, highly recommend it. The only thing that I am not a fan of and it's a small point, is the fact that it's got a um, an invisible zip down the front to do it up. Um, I would actually like to hack it and put buttons down the front because I think that they are less likely to bulge. You know, you get that that thing 
when a zip's in there, it, if it's got no, if it's not straight down, it bulges at the bottom. But it is so minor and actually I don't even really notice it when I've got it on that much anymore. So I can deal with it, to be honest. But I do love this jumpsuit. Um, it's in, I say, it's in a beautiful viscose um, from the Village Haberdashery. Very small, I don't know if you can see it, very small ditzy print um, with of leaves with little, or petals? Petals, probably. Petals with little yellow like stamens on there um i have put a label in although i don't know if anyone else is like me i mean i i would love to put labels in my clothes but i find they just annoy me far too much like if i buy a ready to wear item more often than not the label comes out and then i want to put these labels in my clothes because they're fun and they're cool but then they annoy me and like this one annoys me it may have to come out so if anyone's i might try and zigzag them on see if i can sort of get rid of the little the little edgy bits because that's the bit that really gets on my nerves. I sound really fussy, really, really fussy about comfort. Um, anyway, sorry, I've gone off on track, but yeah, so I'm I if anyone's got any tips on what to do with that, uh, with their labels and things, if they have the same sort of problem and they've found a way of dealing with it, then please let me know in the comments because um, I'd like to use them, but I'm a bit loath to buy any because they're not, I mean, I won't say they're not, they're not expensive, but they're also not cheap, and, and if I'm not going to enjoy wearing them then what's the use of me buying them? Um, so yeah, so if anyone's got any, any hints and tips, in the, put them in the comments, that'd be lovely. Um, but yeah, this jumpsuit, amazing. It is elasticated at the waist. Um, it is super duper comfortable, so comfortable that I have worn it while I'm on holidays, like as in summer holidays, walking around the house and I feel so put together in it. I feel so comfortable. Um, it's just an absolute dream to wear, to to just sort of live in and be comfortable in i don't feel like i have to get out of it as soon as possible it's not tight it's not restrictive it is just so comfortable so there is definitely 100 percent going to be another one of these made and put in my wardrobe because i just feel so put together in it i turned up at the school run and like people are like, oh you look smart today and i'm like this is just secret pajama wear this is comfort i am not feeling any any discomfort apart from the label um so yeah so i love this um fabric again from the village haberdashery not sure whether i have it in, whether they'll have it in anymore but i will try and link it below if they have and the pattern again is new look k6413 and um i didn't make any adjustments to it apart from the length but that's because i'm a short ass and at five foot one i make adjustments to length pretty much on everything i'm actually quite long in the body but I'm not long, it's not true. I'm long in the body. My legs aren't actually massively short, but on patterns, for some reason, I do have to take up trousers quite a lot. Whereas if I buy ready to wear trousers, they're normally the regular ones because I can't get them between my crotch and my waist because I'm quite long between there. Um, so yeah, it's, um, but no, no real adjustments apart from the length of the trousers on this. It was just a make it up, put it on and it was, beautifully wearable so I love this outfit. So the next item is not going to be a surprise to anybody um, probably. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Indigo. I'm sure most of you already know this dress. Um, it has become, the pattern has become a, a definitely a TNT pattern. I use it all the time um, and I have to try and stop myself from using it all the time. Like I would have a wardrobe full of them because they're so comfortable. Um, I love the tears on this one. It's the first time I've really done the tears and I'm so pleased that I did. This fabric is actually the So Holy Jane one um, from this month, I think. I've lost track of months, but yeah, I think it's this month, So Holy Jane. This dress has already been worn two or three times. It was made up the week that I received the fabric. Um, I love it. Wore it to uni, get compliments on it. You know, I mean, I'm with a bunch of younger people and I don't feel like I'm an old person when I'm wearing this dress. I feel like I'm fitting perfectly with them. So it's all good. I absolutely love this dress. I love the colour of it. Quite unusual for me. I don't often do a lot of red, although I am now making up a whole sort of capsule wardrobe for my week's holiday camping. Obviously camping, we don't have a lot of room. So my capsule wardrobe is going to be red, white and black. This will be coming with me because it is super duper comfortable, looks dressed up in the evening, um, I can travel in it, it's just, I love it. 
I absolutely love this dress. This is definitely one that is a staple and definitely one that will be made again. In fact, I have a beautiful double gauze that I bought yesterday from Fabricland um, with it's grey with little, sorry, I'm just, it's just over there. It's grey with little white flowers on it. And I just can't wait to get it made up into that dress because I think it's going to be so, so comfortable. Um, but yeah, so this is the Tilly and Buttons Indigo. Um, I don't need to show anybody the pattern because if you don't know it, then you've been under a rock probably in the sewing community for the last few years. But it is just one of my favourites from the last few months and gets worn weekly pretty much at the moment. Um, obviously I only made it a few weeks ago but I'm wearing it all the time and I love it. The next pattern that I need to um, to tell you about making up is the Sophia trousers from Tilly and the Buttons. It is a, um, it's in her Make It Simple book and um, I've had a, three aborted attempts at making these trousers. I, it, it's all, they are completely my fault, there is nothing wrong with the trousers, it is completely me but I think because it's actually quite a simple pattern I don't concentrate enough and then I make mistakes, silly mistakes mostly. Um, for example, the pair that I'm about to show you, I cut off the waistband bit. I don't know why. Um, I had a stupid moment. I folded the pattern for something before and I then decided not to put it back open again and yeah, cut off the top which is a bit stupid. However, I have managed to obviously rectify that because you can add on a waistband quite simply. And I have made these trousers out of this absolutely beautiful viscose. Again, it is a Fabricland special. Um, they are, oh my God, secret pajamas like nobody's business is ridiculous. They are the most comfortable trousers in the world. I feel like when I wear them, I feel put together. The only issue I'm having now with making these floral trousers and these pattern trousers is I don't have enough plain tops to go with them. So I've made myself, in fact, I wore these in my last video. I made myself a white t-shirt. Um, in fact, I made that t-shirt last year and then haven't actually finished it off or hadn't finished it off until I put it on the other day. Um, so I've got that to go with it, but I would like a red blouse. Or I don't really want to have like just t-shirts all the time. Um, so I need to make some plain tops up. If you've got any suggestions of patterns to use I've got like a couple of uh, cami top patterns so like the sorbetto and I've got the silk cami by over it I've never used that one um but they're not grabbing me there's something I don't know what it is they're not grabbing me to try but I need to make up some plain tops so if you've got any suggestions of quite simple plain tops to wear um uh, let me know um preferably free patterns because I am still a poor student so yeah if you've got any ideas but I mean I love these trousers I have taken them in a bit on the hips so my hips are I think 42 and a half I can't remember which size I made but whatever size it was they were a bit too big so I took them in um quite a lot I think I took them in like two inches either side and I've also I tapered the trousers as well at the same time so they are they're still wide but they're just not quite so wide as they were before um and I love them. And I actually always wear wide leg trousers, generally, quite often wear wide leg trousers and I feel comfortable in them. So, yeah, really good. And I wear them like on the school run and I get lovely compliments, you know. Oh, you're looking smart today, you know. And actually, I'm just wearing secret pyjamas, which is really good. It's it's nice to feel that you look smart and that actually other people are thinking, of course, she dresses all right, doesn't she? Um, when you're wearing a fabric that probably costs no more than, I don't know, six pounds or something and it's just a little bit of effort yourself so actually i love these trousers again there will be more of these in my um plans because they're just so comfortable to wear i could wear them to school um i could wear them to uni and i can feel comfortable so that is the Sapphire trousers by Tilly and the Buttons for it with a fabric land fabric and the fabric is still in stock so i will um link that below for you Okay, so the next item I need to talk about is the um, Simplicity 1252, this pattern here. And it is a very, um, it's quite a different dress for me, quite unusual. I wanted a tunic style dress. I had this red cord in my stash for a very long time. Well, I said very long time, about a year, I think. And I kept thinking I wanted a tunic dress, wanted a tunic dress. And I didn't want one that was... Um, too tight 
I wanted to be able to put a top underneath it. Um, the plan was obviously being red cord, I wanted to wear it in winter and I quite like this style and I thought, oh, do you know, I'll just give this one a go. I've had it in my stash for a very long time, this pattern in my stash for a very long time. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. And actually I've been really pleasantly surprised by it. Um, it's quite, I suppose it is a bit A-line. It's not too, it's quite fitted for me, like quite straight down for me. It's not normal. I don't normally go, I normally have quite a big skirt. I normally do fit and flare. So this is a quite an unusual dress for me, but where it doesn't have a waistband, I thought I'm going to give this a go. Um, and actually the dress that I made, I really am pleased with. It looks lovely. Um, on, it looks put together. I wore it with a black Freya top underneath um just like a little turtleneck it was perfect for school perfect for winter black tights dms and i was put together for the day and really liked it and i like the construction because i don't know if you can see here just at the front here there is a dart now it is dart it isn't a seam so if you can see just down there that the dart ends and it allows for quite a lot of um tailoring now obviously as i say i said earlier on i'm quite busty and I do often get quite a lot of gaping just around the neck here um, because obviously you have to make it to fit the bust and then it's too big up, up top. So that allowed me to then put a dart in or make the dart a bit bigger and to bring it in so that it sits quite nice and flat against my chest. Um, I did take in the side seams a bit as well because it was um, it was gaping, I think, just down here. It was too big anyway, but I can see that I've taken in the side seams a bit as well. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, I love it. Really nice dress. Got wore it the first day um, at school. Got compliments, you know, really smart. Um, I could wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I probably wouldn't, knowing me. Um, but there's nothing saying I wouldn't wear it to uni. I wouldn't wear it around the house to, to just, like, do housework and whatever. But I would definitely wear it to uni, I think. Um, as I say, if I'm wearing my DMs and a, a turtleneck, I'm going to be super, super comfortable. So that's fine. Um... And I really like it. It's a really nice dress, very unusual for me, very different, but definitely one that I like and definitely one that is going to be staying in my wardrobe, certainly for my school wardrobe, um, and to be worn as part of my teaching, I would suspect. So yeah, but that is the last item to show you. There have been more. Um, some of them are ones that I am not a fan of. Some of the ones are, are ones that um a duplicates of ones that i've shown you today and actually it's just like there's only so many i need to show you before i actually bore the life out of you so i hope you have liked seeing what i've been making if you have any suggestions for tops um please let me know in the comments if you have any um any suggestions of free patterns and stuff like that that would be good um i would really love to hear them because i mean I, as much as i look at them you still I'm sure miss about you know half the ones that are out there so all suggestions gratefully welcome um, and I will try and come back to you um, if you have liked this video please press the like button if you'd like to see more press the subscribe and um, and if you want to be notified if there's a new video then press that bell and um, hopefully I will be coming back to you within the next week with some more videos about what I would like to make coming going forward because um, I've got quite a lot of fabric still in my stash because like all seamstresses i'm addicted to buying fabric so yeah keep uh, keep watching press that bell and uh, i will be back with you soon bye